back to Storm Shield. Here's where the tornado is on Storm Shield. And uh, let's, let's kind of flip it out here. There we go. Let's flip. There we go. Right over the H.E. Bailey. You can get this, again, a product you only see on News 9. It's what we call shear rate. And uh, this is going to be a big tornado. Big tornado. Circulation is about three or four miles wide. Actually, it's about six miles wide from be beginning to end. But this is going to be a violent tornado, what could be potentially a violent tornado. I don't know exactly, but just from what I'm seeing with, what I'm seeing with velocity data and how impressive these values are right now, it, if, it takes a lot. Go ahead. If this doesn't turn right, the Newcastle Casino will take a hit. There you go. That's right. Yeah. Any, anything on I-44, Newcastle Casino, if it doesn't lift, you will take a direct hit. Newcastle Casino, Newcastle Casino, you will take a direct hit from this. And again, it's moving northeast. It's now crossing uh, Sarah Road. It's over Sarah Road and Bridge Creek Road right now. Sarah Road, Bridge Creek Road. Uh, here's West Golf Course. Here's Riley Road, Northwest 16th Street, uh, Northwest 24th Street. That's where the Newcastle Casino is. Uh, right there on Highway 62 and I-44, and it looks like it's going to go right over the casino. Now, here's our problem. Here's more, all right? So here, we, we, we really have to pay attention. If you live in Moore right now, uh, you, you have to prepare for this tornado to move into Moore. And we've got it on pathfinder. Okay. Okay, we're going to give you a timeline here coming up. But uh, Moore, Newcastle, uh, again, Norman, you're not out of the woods, but right now, if I'm living... Here's the deal. My family, if I'm living in Moore, uh, if I'm living uh, west, west sides of Moore, down to Newcastle, I'm going to the safe spot right now. Uh, we've got uh, basically 160, 170 mile per hour shear. This is going to be a strong tornado. This is going to be a strong tornado, still on the ground. It's on I-44. It might be actually just barely, I mean barely, north of I-44. But I'm talking about a quarter, maybe a half a mile at most at most right now. Strong circulation, tornado on the ground. We, again, we're going to have some damage in here. There's no way uh, this thing has not caused uh, some damage as it's been coming up the uh, H.E. Bailey. All right, winds, 160 mile per hour shear. 160 mile per hour shear. It's wrapped in rain. It's shrouded. We, we've seen it from Jim Gardner's shot in Bob Mill Sky News 9, uh, but uh, this has been a very intense area of rotation, and it still is. It's just about as strong as it has been. Okay, let's go to Pathfinder here. Pathfinder 9, let's switch this and go to Pathfinder. And uh, again, here's where the circulation is. We've got it right on that, okay? All right, well, now we're not, this isn't the rain, all right? We're not worried about the rain. We're not worried about the hail. We're worried about this. And basically, the circulation is right over the D and the G of Bridge Creek, all right? It's, in, it's coming into Bridge Creek right now. It's coming into Bridge Creek proper right now. Newcastle, 530. All right, Newcastle Middle School, 531. Kids are out of school now, though, and uh, that's good. All right, we're out of school. We're, we're, we're good. Uh, Newcastle Casino, uh, 533. Uh, again, we're talking about Fisher at 547, East Lake at 548. Uh, these are all schools. Okay, Southmore High School, Southmore High School, 549. All right, 549. Here's more. Here's downtown Moore. There's 37. All right, this is going to be, uh, again, uh, what's that? Okay, yeah, Newcastle, Moore, then Crossroads Mall uh, at about 602. Let's go ahead and put some of those, uh, back that up, put more cities back, not cities, but more identifiers on there. Mm -hmm. I like what we had. Let's change that back up again. All right, so Newcastle, if you live in Newcastle, tornado warning for, new, for you. This is a tornado emergency for Bridge Creek. If you live on or just north or south of I-44, let's say about three miles, this is going to be a tornado emergency for you, okay? I can't say it any clearer. That means that we have a large, possibly a violent tornado on the ground doing damage right now, wrapped in rain. It's a worst case scenario, all we see is a big blob. Let's go to Jim Gardner's shot. Let's take a look at this, let's leave this up. And again, there it is. And again, it's hard to see, but that tornado is in there. Jim, give us an update, go ahead. All right, we, we don't have Jim, but we do have James Menzies, and James Menzies has a damage update. All right, all right, James Menzies, uh, Storm Tracker, News 9 Storm Tracker, James Menzies. Go ahead, James, give us an update. All right, no James. Hey, any trackers there, tell me where the tornado is right now. Okay, all right, hang on. Can you, all right, James, can you hear me? No, I didn't. I can't hear him. Okay, all right, hang on. We'll get back to James. All right, guys, control room, forget it. Let's come back. 
Okay, there's Jim Gardner's shop. Tell me in my ear when we get Jim back up, okay? All right, no big deal. All right, let's go to Pathfinder. Let's take this full screen. There's Jim's shot. Uh, Val, I, I think, has found, uh, looks like some damage. Looks like Val's found some damage. Okay, tornado now is north of Bridge Creek. Folks, this thing has moved east. It's made a hard left turn now. Uh, we gotta, we got to change the tornado track. Yeah. It's, it's changed again. It has changed again. Uh, I'm talking about the path. All right? All right, here it is now. It went right over Bridge Creek. And uh, if there's not damage in and around Bridge Creek, uh, at least around Bridge Creek, I will be I will be shocked. Okay. The center of circulation right now is on Sarah Road. Yep. Okay. Right, right through Bridge Creek. Right. Let's go to Let's go to Storm Shield Nine. Let's go to Storm Shield Nine. And when we get our trackers back in the Getner, let's take them. All right. Here it is. There's the tornado now. Look out. Look at this, folks. It went over I-44, crossed I-44 twice, and then it lifted back north. So I-44 had the tornado cross over it two times in a matter of five miles. All right, there it is. The tornado now is on the north sides of Bridge Creek. It's almost lifting due north, okay? It's almost lifting due north. And it looks like it might have weakened a little bit. Still a tornado on the ground, but it looks like maybe the circulation is maybe, maybe weakened some, but it is still, we're still, we're still playing like, okay, we're still, we're still going with it is on the ground. The velocity data uh, is, is so strong right now. All right. And we need, okay. Are you guys have any damage reports or anything coming in? Anything? No. We, we know that they've shut down I-44 back to Tuttle now. They may need to okay. move it further north than that. But we're not getting any word yet. I think they're still trying to sort it out. Yeah. Well, it's just, you know, the, the, the circulation in this thing, the, the velocities, the wind velocities are uh, just so impressive. And we've seen that. We've seen that large tornado on the ground. Uh, from Jim Gardner's shop. And now we're being told that at Will Rogers World Airport, they're moving folks to a safe spot since this is moving more northerly. Okay, and okay, there you go. So Will Rogers World Airport, folks trying to fly out of town. They're moving the folks at the airport. They have uh, storm shelters there. They're going to move them to those safe places at the airport at Will Rogers, which is exactly what you do because this storm, this tornadic supercell, this tornado now has made a turn and it's lifting north. Here's Sarah Road. Uh, right there it's really going right down sarah road and now it's crossing uh sarah road now coming up to morgan road all right and see this little silver thing there spinning looks like a plate uh that is a debris signature a tornado debris signature that you only see on news nine and what that is saying is that the radar is seeing uh anything that's and everything that's not water all right that's not hail that's not rain all right and look at this thing it's wrapped in rain it's wrapped in rain, all right? But the radar is saying we see debris in the air that's being lofted uh, in the air. That's what the radar is seeing, and that's why it's painting out this, this shield. It's called a tornado debris shield now on I-44. Okay, all right, Val Caster is right here. He's getting back in position, and uh, I'll tell you what, let's do a storm Hank track. Has an update. All right, let's go to Hank. Hank's right here. Uh, Val's right there. Let's get an update from Hank, and then we'll go to Val. Hank, go ahead. David, I'm at Highway 9 and Highway 76, southwest of Newcastle, north of Blanchard, just southeast of Bridge Street. And I can barely make out the front side of this. Folks, this is a, this is a dangerous situation. I can't tell you if the tornado is still on the ground or not. All I can see is real massive rotations uh, and, and the rain curtains. I can see them just spinning, and I can see air flowing into the clear spot of that. But, David, uh, I can't tell you if the tornado is on the ground. What I can tell you is I've heard multiple reports, including one from our own James Menzies, that at I-44 and Highway 9, there was very severe damage. So uh, as this is tracking along, it looks like it took more of a north path where it was moving more to the east. It looks like to me that now it is, it is, it is moving more to the north. I'm still on Highway 76, and it's still to my west. So, um, like I say, I think that it might have weakened a little bit, and maybe that's why it turned to the north. But as I'm sitting here at Highway 9 and Highway 76, I've got leaves and small debris falling out of the air, David. Right. And I'm probably about three miles from the tornado yeah. as we said. Yeah. Back to you. Okay, Hank, let me ask you a question here. You said that you were going down, you were going down Highway 9. Did you, you said you went into damage. You drove into damage. James Menzies reported the damage and that was just west of me south of bridge creek at highway 9 and highway i-44 the spur 
I'm about three miles or four miles east of that location. Okay, all right. And, and I'm looking to the north northwest. The emergency the, managers the are purporting that in Bridge Creek there is major the damage, power lines down, trees snapped, structural damage as well. Yet. It is west of 76, between I-44 and 76, north of Bridge Creek, north of the Highway 9 first. It's heading towards Tuttle. Okay. Val has debris falling in his shot. Okay. All right, Hank. Uh, Hank, thank you. We'll check back in with Hank coming up here. Let's go to Val Castro, get a quick update from him, and then we'll go back to Radar. Hank, uh, great job. Val, go ahead. Give us an update quickly. Okay, David. Uh, we're uh, at County Line Road and Northeast 85th Street. Uh, the tornado, if it's still on the ground, we can't see it because there's so much rain. Uh, we do have debris falling out of the sky here at our location, uh, mostly small twigs and leaves and stuff like that. Uh, so that's debris that was actually picked up by the tornado. Uh, so anyway, we're going to keep following this and uh, keep tracking for you. Back to you, David. All right, great job, Val Caster. Okay, and here's the deal. Now we're getting reports that Bridge Creek has taken, it looks like, probably a direct hit. We brought it to you live on the air when the tornado was going over Bridge Creek. Power lines down. It looks, uh, we're getting reports, uh, quite a bit of damage in and around Bridge Creek. And I really thought it was amazing that we didn't have some there because it went right over town. And again, it's wrapped in rain. The tornado now is north. It's now north of I-44. It's going right up Morgan Road. It's going almost due north now, right up Morgan Road. Here's Morgan Road. Uh, here's State Highway 37 or Northwest 32nd Street. Uh, here's Meridian. Uh, here's I-44. Here's the Newcastle Casino. And again, right now, this is not going to hit the casino. It's going well west of there. It's now at Morgan Road, and it's going to go between Morgan Road and County Line Road as it comes out of Cleveland uh, uh, County, then eventually uh, McLean actually into Cleveland County. And uh, again, that's going to happen here shortly, okay? Uh, let's go to Jim Gardner's shot. There's the tornado uh, right there. And uh, still strong circulation. Tornado likely on the ground. That's what the tornado looks like, folks. That's what we've been showing you here the last hour. It is wrapped in rain. You cannot see it. It's the most dangerous kind of tornado. Uh, again, you just can't see it at all. But right now, we have reports, Jim Gardner, of some pretty substantial damage with that tornado. Give us an update. Well, that's right, Dave. That's right, David. Uh, I heard uh, James Menzi on the ground. He's, he just tied uh, Highway 9 around the uh, spur there. He said there was a lot of damage and everything. We're kind of on the southeast shooting back. We keep uh, working back along here, David. You're looking at the, the highway there, 277-62, going up north at turn right there. Now, OHP has been out here stopping traffic everywhere to keep people trying to get them off. But you can see the highway is backed up right there. There's people coming right in the path of that tornado if it crosses the road right there. Again, uh, we're looking back up towards Newcastle. We're going to be directly south of Newcastle. That's the highway going into New Newcastle. So that's what we're shooting right there, David. And you can see the storm right there and that tornado still on the ground. They are in a very bad situation here. Jim Gardner reporting live from Bob back. Mills. Scotty's nine. Back to you. Okay. All right. Great job, Jim Gardner. The tornado. It is still on the ground. We think at this point, velocity data. Now, I want to say that the velocity winds are, are showing that it has weakened some. All right. But it doesn't mean that it's still not on the ground. This has been uh, what we think is a. Uh, it's produced multiple tornadoes, but uh, again, uh, we still think that it's on the ground right now. And again, Jim's looking back uh, to the northwest uh, from Blanchard. He's in Blanchard. Uh, looking off to the northwest, right there, Raval and Hank are, and the circulation continues to lift, continues to lift uh, to the north. How about that? Is lifting to the north now into Bridge Creek. Okay, let's go to uh, Storm Shield and take a closer look. And here's the circulation. Went right over Bridge Creek. Notice how we had all the bright greens and the bright oranges. It went right over Bridge Creek, and it's now lifting almost due north. There's Morgan Road. It's going right down Morgan Road. It's going right down County Line Road. Now, what I'm looking at here, the velocity data uh, doesn't tell me that we have uh, a big uh, violent tornado or a big substantial tornado on the ground. The winds have weakened, all right? Uh, I tell you what, guys, let's stop this. Let's quit the laps, and let's go ahead and do some, uh, let's do some velocity data here. Let's just see what we got. Was that a power flash? I thought I saw a power flash in his shot. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have. Yeah, kind of query some of that. 67. So we're, we're down a lot. Down. We've come down over, over half. We were 160 to 170 about 30 minutes ago or less. So it continues to weaken. You see this? New area of circulation. New area of circulation here developing. Okay, we need to keep everybody uh, uh, kind of updated on that. Okay, that's going to be east of Hank. We need to keep an eye on this. This is going to be a new area of circulation that may or may not turn into something, but we've got to watch it. This is the old area of circulation. Tornado warning still continues. Let's back out just a bit, guys. Let's back out get our bearings straight here. 
Keep backing out for me. I'm sorry. Go ahead and back out. All right, here's southeastern Canadian County, southwest Oklahoma County, and uh, that area of circulation, um, it's, it's right in here. It's just completely, again, wrapped in rain. But now we have a new area of circulation right in here.